Hey guys, it's Scott here from Zone My God Play, and still be doing a quick gameplay overview for Curve Studios' release of Titan Attacks. So, Titan Attacks is a uh, cross buy platform title for the PS3, PS4, and PS Vita. So, whichever version of the game you buy it on, you'll automatically receive the other two platforms. So, quick overcap. As you can see, it's a Space Invaders styled game whereby you're a little tank at the bottom of the screen and you've got to move left and right to destroy all the aliens and rack up the points. The more points you score, the better your place on the leaderboard. But what makes Titan Attacks quite interesting is the fact that you can upgrade your power-ups in between each levels. So every time you destroy the aliens that are crawling down towards you, uh, you'll earn money. And once you obtain the actual money, you can then use that to spend on weapon upgrades such as uh, additional bullets, additional weapons such as grenades, as well as more health. And these will aid you throughout the actual levels because there's over 100 levels to explore within the game. What's also quite interesting about Titan Attacks is that when you shoot down certain alien spaceships you may end up uh, damaging them so that they fall to the ground. If this occurs you can shoot them again to obtain some additional bonus skill shots so you get more points that way as well. And another interesting fact is that sometimes during the game if you shoot down the spaceship at the top you can upgrade a special weapons such as this super gun here which will make clearing the level a tiny bit easier. So not only does the game have upgradable weapons and stats but it also has its own combo multiplier or score multiplier. Uh, this is achieved by destroying all the aliens within the level without getting hit and then if you do end up getting hit the score multiplier will reduce back down to zero. So this is used for getting the better high scores so basically if you keep getting hit you'll eventually die and you'll have to restart the entire game. Uh, but if you keep destroying all the enemies without getting hit, you can wrap a nice score multiplier which will see you getting a better higher score which ultimately will see you doing better in the uh, leaderboards. As you progress through the game you'll end up at a challenge stage and what you need to do here is shoot down all the flying saucers which appear on the screen. At first the early levels are quite slow as we see here but then as you progress through to the uh, more advanced stages the flying saucers fly at incredibly high speeds. But the aim is here to shoot down all of the flying saucers and the more you shoot down the more points you get and if you end up shooting all of them down you'll get a bonus prize. So the main game itself is split between five different locations with each location having 20 levels and an end of level boss fight. So once you reach the 20th level of uh, each location, for example level 20, level 40, level 60, level 80 and level 100, you'll eventually encounter the boss fight and as you can see here this is the boss fight for world 1 or level 20. So the objective here is to try and defeat the boss without being killed and then once you've defeated the boss you'll then move on to the next location. So with the boss over and done with, we then move on to level 21, which is the first world for the moon, the second location uh, within the game. And as you may have just saw, I've collected a falling alien. Basically what happens is, is that sometimes when destroying the alien spaceships, the alien inside will jump out. If you manage to collect him, you'll get some bonus points as well as uh, some additional money. 
but if you miss him, then you'll lose money. So it's another interesting twist of uh, trying to expand the gameplay a little bit. And also on this particular world, uh, we'll have falling meteors, which if they hit the tank, they'll end up uh, dealing damage. So highly recommended that you best avoid them. So basically, not only do you have uh, the alien spaceships to avoid, their laser fire and bomb attacks, but you also have to avoid the falling rocks. So as you can see, the further you progress into the game, the more insane it becomes, with uh, aliens dropping onto you or rocks falling on top of you as well as. But if you do end up dying, such as I've just happened to die here, uh, you'll be taken directly back to the game's main menu, as you only have one life. Fortunately, if you do want to resume the game, you can do by going to the play option, and here you'll be able to select the current worlds that you've visited. However, you won't actually start at the last uh, level that you died on, you'll start at the very beginning of that particular location. So for example, I died on level 36, so I have to start at the beginning of level 21. So that was a quick gameplay overview of Titan Attacks, which is now available on the PlayStation Network for PS3, PS4 and PS Vita.